The Spokane author of a historical fiction novel found herself defending it even before it hit bookstores this week. Critics called Jewel of Medina soft core pornography and Muslims warned of possible extremist attacks. KXLY force Tanya Dahl sat down with Sherry Jones today to learn more about the book and the author. Tanya? If you haven't heard of Sherry Jones, chances are you probably will. She lives right here in Spokane, moved here about a year ago from Montana, and spent six years researching and writing her first book. Now, this book has gained national and international attention. I felt moved to write it. Some might dispute my right to do so. Uh, I, I'm not Arabic, I'm not Muslim, but I am a woman. Yeah. I have a woman's heart. And I'm inspired by Aisha. In this 341-page novel, Sherry Jones chronicles the life of the Prophet Muhammad's child bride, Aisha bint Abi Bakr. Her curiosity peaked after the September 11th attacks and after hearing about women's lives under the Taliban. Oh, I was inspired by her story, and I really wanted to learn more. And the more I read about Aisha and about Muhammad and about the origins of Islam and all the other characters, the more fascinated I became. But writing this book has proved controversial. Jewel of Medina was dropped by Random House after an Islamic studies professor called it, quote, soft core pornography. I don't have to spend any more time defending my book against these allegations. It can now speak for itself. Her book was later picked up by UK publisher Gibson Square. Just last month, three Muslim men firebombed the publisher's London office for agreeing to sign with Jones. Concerns about more backlash pushed the U.S. release date to this week. The best thing for everyone would be for the book to be out as soon as possible because what was happening was there was increase, an increasing amount of furor over a book that no one had read. Jones says she hasn't received any threats on her life. Just insults from non-Muslims and Muslims alike, along with praise. I waited for an hour, pacing more trenches in my floor. When Muhammad returned to me, would he bring good news or bad? This freelance journalist turned global sensation says she'll take precautions where necessary, but refuses to live in fear. I don't worry about how I'm going to die or when I think try to try to focus on how I want to live my life and Jones has already written a sequel and it's scheduled to be released sometime next year she'll also be doing a book signing this Friday night at auntie's bookstore in downtown Spokane reporting live Tanya Dahl KXLY4 HD News